Right, bow with the head right here. Set an intention for your class today. Good on the inhale, plant the hands on the mat and press back to child's pose. So big toes together, knees apart. Arms extended out in front of you, trying to drop the head on the mat, pushing the hips back. Good, in this child's pose, focus on your breath now. The inhale and the exhale, getting ready to start class. On the inhale, lift the head up and walk the hands to the left. Right hand goes on top of the left hand, stretching out that right side body. Lift the head on the inhale, walk it back to center and then take it over to the right. So right hand over, left hand on top. Breathing into that left side body now. Good, on the inhale, Lift the head and walk it back to center. One more time in this child's pose, dropping the head, pushing the hips back. From here, you're going to plant the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width um, out in front of you though, the way that they were. And on the inhale, you're going to slide forward to baby cobra. So Brie, you might wanna move back a little bit on your mat. Yep, so nice small slide up to baby cobra. On the inhale, lift the chest. And then on the exhale, push back to child's pose. So we're gonna go, few, go through a few of these here. So pushing forward to baby cobra, lifting that chest. And then on the exhale, push back to child's pose. Good, inhale forward to cobra. Slight lift of the heart, little back bend. Exhale, push the hips back, child's pose. Two more on your own. And one more. Good. Back to child's pose. Shake out those hips a little bit if you need to, side to side finding a little bit of movement. And on the inhale, come up to tabletop. Hands in line with shoulders, hips and knees all in one line. The left hand is going to plant on the mat and the left foot will swing out to the side and coming up, so left knee stays planted, left foot comes out towards me for a side plank. So the right hand and the right arm go up. So stay on that knee though, so like this. So that's, uh, yeah. there we go. How do I describe this? <laughs> Good, an easy side plank here. If you'd like, you can lift that right foot up and take that right arm and grab the foot if you're feeling ready. And releasing that right hand and foot, taking it back to tabletop. Other side now, so right hand plants, right knee on the ground, right foot swivels out, left arm up. Good, if you'd like, you can lift that left leg and reach back and grab that left foot. Working to open the front body a little bit. Pressing up and out of that right shoulder. 
All right, releasing that hand and foot. Back to tabletop. And push it back, child's pose. Back to tabletop. This time, keeping the hips and the knees in line, you're gonna walk the hands forward for puppy dog pose. So, hips stay up and you're walking your arms forward, dropping the head. A little bit more of an intense stretch in the shoulders here. One more inhale, and on the exhale, push up, down dog. Tucking the toes, lifting the knees, down dog. <laughs> That's usually when the sweatshirts start coming off. <laughs> Good, pedaling out the legs a little bit. Shaking the head yes, shaking the head no. Finding whatever movement here you need in your first down dog. Letting that head hang heavy. Good, once you're done with that movement, find your stillness. Pushing those hips up. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you need it. On the inhale, come forward to plank. On the exhale, drop knees, chest, chin. Flatten out. Inhale, baby cobra, lifting the heart. Exhale, push it back, child's pose. Tucking the toes, down dog. We're gonna go through two more just like that, nice and easy. So on the inhale to plank, exhale, dropping knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. And then when you're ready, up to down dog. One more on your own. And we'll all meet back in down dog. Take your feet out wider or about uh, mats width apart and walk your hands back to your feet for a forward fold. Slight bend of the knees, letting that head hang heavy. On the inhale, halfway lift. Inhale, halfway lift. <laughs> Exhale, forward fold. Um, let's see, so the fingertips are going to, from this forward fold, the fingertips are going to just kind of brush the ground as you sweep side to side here. So bending those knees, alternating bending and straightening, straightening, just letting everything be heavy, finding some nice movement here. Good, and back to center. One more halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And walk it forward to plank. Through your vinyasa here. So if you're ready, you can come forward for chaturanga and up dog, or you can stick with knees, chest, chin to cobra. Pushing back, down dog. And walk forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, upward reach. And hands down, mountain pose. This is where we're gonna start our sun A's. So your feet can be together or slightly apart. On the inhale, upward reach. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chuckles is here at fast with the equipment. Should I open the door? All right, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. Left foot back, dropping the knee, untucking the toe. Oh, that's Chuck, Chuckles. <laughs> I forget where I'm at, all right. Oh, so planting the left hand on the ground, right arm's gonna come up for that twist. We'll have chuckle yoga today. Good, right hand down. Step the right foot back, down dog. Inhale, left foot up. <clears throat> and exhale, left foot forward for that lunge. Dropping the right knee, untucking the toes. Low lunge here. Right arm plants on the ground, left arm comes up for the twist. Left arm down, stepping forward. Forward, or yep, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back. Dropping the knee, untucking the toes. Right arm plants, left arm comes up for the twist. Left arm down, step back, down dog. On the inhale, right leg comes up. On the exhale, right leg comes forward, dropping the left knee, untucking the toes. Left arm plants, right arm up for the twist. Right arm down, left foot steps forward. Forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward reach. And on the exhale, bring the hands down, mountain pose. Good, taking a moment here, resetting your stance if you need to. Focusing on that breath again. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back. Untucking the toe, or dropping the knee, untucking the toes. Inhale, upward reach. So those arms are coming up, crescent lunge. So from here, the left arm, let's see. Right arm's gonna go on the hip. No. Left arm on the hip, right arm will reach back and grab that foot. So bending the knee, yep. Gently letting go of the foot. Hands come back to the ground, step back, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. So dropping that knee, untucking the toes. Arms up, crescent lunge. Now we're gonna go right hand on the hip and left hand reaches back for that foot. Hi. Gently releasing the foot. Hands back down, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward reach. So same thing, other side. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back. Untuck, or dropping the knee, untucking the toes. Arms up. Let's see, right hand on the right hip. Left arm reaches back for the foot. See, if I remember that you keep your watch on your left hand, Brie, then it's a lot easier. I figured that out this week. Good, gently releasing the foot. Both hands come down in front. Step back, down dog. All right, there we go. On the inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward. Drop that knee, untuck the toes. Arms come up. You could be our enforcer truck. And left hand on the hip, right hand reaches back for that foot. If you can reach it. Gently releasing the toes, arms and forward, step forward. Both feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, hands down by your side, mountain pose. Good, we've got one more sun A here. So inhale, upward reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. This time keeping the knee lifted. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. two options here. Either you can plant your left hand on the ground and right arm spins up for the twist, or you can do left elbow on the outside of the right knee and prayer hands for that twist. So whichever option you want. Inhale, arms up. Good, hands down, step back, down dog. The inhale, left leg up, step forward, crescent lunge, arms up. Again, same thing here. You, you can either plant the right hand on the ground, left arm up, or you can take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee for that prayer hand twist. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. Hands down on the mat, step the right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Right leg steps back for crescent lunge this time. So right leg steps back, knees stay up, arms up overhead, crescent lunge. Same options for that twist, either planting the hand on the ground or taking the elbow over to the knee. If you're in that twist with prayer hands, try to push the chest up so that the prayer hands are in the middle of the chest. Good, inhale, crescent lunge, arms up. Huh? We're just starting. Hands to the mat, step back, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward for that lunge. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. And find your twist. Whichever option you choose, either hand on the mat or those prayer hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands plant down, step the left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, hands down by your side.
Good, taking a moment here. We just finished the sunnays. Now we're gonna move on to the standing poses. So on the inhale, upward reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Both hands on the mat, step back for plank. Going through your vinyasa here to get to down dog. Dropping that head in the down dog. Slight bend of the knees if you need. The inhale, right leg up. On the exhale, step forward, warrior two. So right foot comes forward, toes point at 12 o'clock, left foot swivels so that the foot is parallel with the mat. Arms come out to a T. On the inhale, bring the arms up. So bring the shoulders up to your ears and on the exhale, drop them back. Finding that nice expansion here. Good, and then taking those arms back to neutral. Good, finding that nice length through the arms. Straighten the front leg, push the hips back, arms come forward, triangle pose. Grabbing that block if you need it. Right. bending the front knee. The right hand comes out about uh, 10 to 12 inches in front of you for half moon. So bending the right knee, coming forward on that hand. Left leg is going to extend up. Left arm can either be straight up in the air or you can take it behind you for that half bind. So wrapping it around the hips. Gazing where your neck allows here. For balance purposes, it's easier to look down. But whatever feels best opening those hips the foot or the left toes can either be flexed or pointed and planting that back foot warrior two again Good. on the inhale turn to face forward so all the toes come forward heels out toes in Hands on the hips, slight back bend. Inhale for that slight back bend and exhale, fold forward. Planting the hands on the mat. We're gonna do some twists here. So with the hands on the mat, right in front of your face, on the inhale, you're gonna lift the left arm up. So twisting in this forward fold here. And the feet can be as close as you need them. Good, drop that left hand, and right arm goes up for the twist. Other side. Good, dropping that right hand. Settling into that forward fold one more time. Hands on the hips, inhale, stand up. And then you're gonna turn to warrior two on the other side. So the left toes point 12 o'clock at the top of your mat. The right foot is parallel with the back of your mat now. Arms are extended out. Good, on the inhale, bring those shoulders up to your ears and on the exhale, drop them back down. And one more time, inhale up, exhale down. Good, finding that length again through those arms, keeping those shoulder blades dropped. Good, finding that neutral position for the arms here. That nice length. Reaching for the front of the room and the back of the room. Straighten the front leg, push the hips back, arms come forward, triangle pose. Hand on your shin, the mat or a block. 
the right arm can either extend up or it can wrap around your hips for that half bind, gazing where your neck allows. All right, half moon. So bending that front knee, hand comes out about 10 to 12 inches, back leg extends up, opening those hips. Right arm can either be up or you can take it around the back, wrapping it for that half bind. Blues some heads. Good job, if you fall, just get right back into it. Good, and taking it back, warrior two. Back to a nice warrior two here. That front knee is bent, back leg is straight, arms are extended out. And turn it forward, forward fold again. Hands on your hips. Inhale for a back bend, and exhale forward fold. The hands this time are going to walk behind you. So like you're trying to touch the kettlebells back there. So just walking those hands back, coming forward with your weight so that you're on the ball of the foot. Just finding a little bit different of a stretch here. So hands are behind and the weight is in the front of your feet. And dropping the head. Walk the hands back to right underneath the shoulders. Hands on your hips. On the inhale, stand it up. And going through your vinyasa, facing the front of your mat again. So turning to face the front of your mat, step forward. Inhale, upward reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank and through your vinyasa here to finish up to get back to down dog. Good, as you get a little bit warmer here, those maybe those heels start pressing to the back of the mat or keeping those knees bent if you need to. Still letting that head drop Pushing the hips up. On the inhale, right leg up to the sky. On the exhale, you're gonna flip the dog. So the right foot's going to come over, right arm will extend up to the sky. So both toes painting, pointing forward, trying to lift the hips. Yep. It's kind of like a three prong wheel. And back to uh, three-legged dog. So flipping it back over, that right leg stays lifted up. And bring, ex exhale, bring the right foot forward for warrior two. These words are hard today. <laughs> Inhale, reverse warrior. Left hand goes down along your thigh, right arm comes up, opening up that right side body. On the exhale, extended side angle. So the keeping the knee bent, the right arm is going to come down and can either, the elbow can plant on the knee or it can come down to the ground. The left arm will extend up overhead or you can take it um, more at an angle so that you really get that side body stretch. So taking it over the head. You also have the option to bind here. So that left arm can go behind your back and right arm can come underneath and wrapping the hands. If you're choosing the bind, make sure that you're really opening up those shoulders as you do that bind. So really trying to lift that shoulder up to the sky.
Good, and breathing into whichever option you choose. If you have that bind, release that now. And everybody is going to turn to crescent lunge. So you, all the toes are gonna to point forward. Inhale, arms up for that crescent lunge. And back to that twist that we did before. So either left hand will plant on the mat or left elbow to the outside of the right thigh for that twist. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. All right, left hand is going to plant on the mat. Left foot turns out, side plank on the left. So left hand is planted, left foot's on the ground, right arm extends up. For full side plank this time. The right leg can come up if you'd like. And if you're feeling really into it, you can reach back and grab that right foot with your right hand. Good, releasing that foot if you have it held. Plank pose. Good, holding this plank. Heels push back, quads are engaged, navel to spine. And through your vinyasa here. Back to down dog. Good. we're back to that down dog now so we're gonna do everything on the other side so on the inhale left leg up three leg a dog here now flipping the dog so left leg is going to come over left arm extends up toes face forward and taking you back three leg a dog Flipping back over, left leg extends back up to the sky. And on the exhale, step forward, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm drops down the thigh, left arm extends up, opening up the left side body. Exhale, extended side angle. So the left knee stays bent. That left arm, either the elbow comes to the thigh or the hand comes down to the ground. Right arm extends up or overhead or taking it back for that half bind. And if you'd like, that left hand can come underneath the leg for that full bind, grabbing the hands behind your back, opening up that chest. Releasing that bind if you have it. Turn forward, crescent lunge. So all the toes point forward, arms up. So for that twist option again, the right elbow will come outside of the left knee and those hands come together in prayer. Finding that nice twist or the right hand can plant on the ground and left arm extends up to the sky. All right, inhale, crescent lunge. This time right hand plants on the mat, right foot stays on the mat, side plank. So we're going to side plank on the right side. Left foot comes on top of the right and left arm extends up. If you feel it on this side, you can take the left leg up and you can reach back and grab that foot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Good, releasing that foot if you have it held, taking it back to plank here. Back to plank. Good, holding this plank again.
and going through your vinyasa to get back to down dog through your vinyasa on your breath down dog bring those hands together in the center of your mat where the thumbs touch on the inhale right leg up and the exhale that right foot's going to step outside of the right hand for that lizard lunge left knee drops down untuck the toes you can walk the arms forward and drop down to your forearms if you'd like to deepen the stretch a little bit walking those hands back underneath the shoulders the right foot is going to heel toe out to the edge of your mat to where the heels in and the toe is out so pushing the toe out a little bit yep at the edge of your mat the right hand will come up and push on the right thigh to push that knee out a little bit bend the left knee bringing the toes up and if you want you can reach the right hand back for those toes this is ratchet pose Yep, if you can grab that foot good. If not, just keep the hand on that thigh, pushing that knee out. So you're either pulling that foot into you or kicking out. Kicking into that hand, either one. All right, gently releasing the hand. Hands come back down to the mat. Drop down to your elbows. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee, step it back for forearm plank. However you need to get there. Now we're holding that forearm plank. Same idea as the regular plank, we're just on the forearms here. Heels push back, quads stay engaged. Bring it up to your palms and through your vinyasa to get back to down dog. Other side, so bringing those thumbs together in the center of your mat. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot steps outside of the left hand for that lizard pose. Dropping the back knee, untucking the toes. If you'd like, you can walk out to those elbows, so on those forearms, feeling that deeper stretch here. All right, back up on those hands. The left foot is gonna walk out to the edge of your mat. Left toes come out, heels in a little bit. Left arm will push on that left knee, opening those hips. Right knee bends, right toes come up, reaching back to grab that foot. If you can, try to grab it on the pinky side. Yeah, there we go. And then looking over that left shoulder really opening up that body here good either pulling that foot into you or kicking through that hand whichever one feels better all right gently releasing the foot bringing the left hand back on the inside and from here we're going back to that forearm plank so however you'd like to get there, you can drop the elbows, lift the knee, or you can stay up on your palms and go back and then drop down to your elbows. So we're back in that forearm plank here. Now 
releasing this plank, dropping the body down, we're going to Sphinx Pose. So the arms are going to walk out in front of you and you'll be up on your forearms. Yep, so the hands are about shoulders width apart and just a nice easy back bend here, opening up the feet, take them out as wide as the mat. Yep, lifting that head. Nice easy back bend. Good, dropping that head, walking your hands back underneath the shoulders, taking it up to plank through your vinyasa. Back to down dog. Now, however you'd like to, you're gonna come to sitting on the mat with the feet in front of you. So you can walk those feet or you can jump, whatever you'd like, sitting on the mat. Feet planted on the ground, knees bent. Hands will go back behind you with fingers pointing forward. Yes, fingers pointing towards your hips. On the inhale, lift up for that reverse tabletop. So lifting those hips up to the sky. If it hurts, don't do it. <laughs> Good, lifting those hips up. On the exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. And one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop it down. Legs go out straight in front of you. Take them out about as wide as your mat here. The left leg will extend out. The right leg is going to bend as if in tree pose. So that sole of the right foot will come into the left thigh. Turning the body to look towards the left foot. On the inhale, arms up. And the exhale, reach forward. So forwarding, forward fold. And you have that strap there too low, so if you wanna use it for anything. Yep, so if you need a strap, you can grab that here. On the inhale, find that length. And on the exhale, deepen that fold. Releasing that foot, sitting up. The right hand is going to plant behind you for that, um, so off to the side and lifting the hips for that side plank, modifi modified. Uh, keeping that knee in front, so, yep. Good, and taking it back down so that left leg stays in front. Right foot stays bent and forward fold over that leg again. Bringing it back up, the right foot will come over the left thigh. So for the twist, if you want, you can bend the left leg or you can keep it straight. So right foot is over the left on the inhale arms up and on the, so the right hand's gonna plant back behind you. Inhale, left arm up and then twist to the right side. Yeah, keep the leg straight, there you go. Good, inhale for that length and on the exhale, deepen that twist, looking over the right shoulder. One more big inhale. The exhale, deepen that twist. And then release to the other side. So helicopter those arms over to the left side and just take a little reverse twist here. Good, legs back straight in front of you on the mat. So releasing it all, legs are back out wide on the mat. So walk those feet out so they're as wide as the mat. The left foot will bend into the right thigh this time. So sole of the left foot into the right thigh. Turn to look at your right foot. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Reaching for that right foot this time. 
using a strap or a towel if you need to. Big inhale to find some length and on that exhale, deepen that fold. And the inhale come up. Left hand is going to plant behind you, raising those hips up. And dropping it back down for that forward fold. So that left leg stays in front, or right leg stays in front, left leg is bent, taking it back over that foot. On the inhale, come up, and that right leg is going to come over the left this time. So right foot over, no, left foot over the right. There we go. You can straighten the front leg or bend it. <laughs> I did good up until now. So the left hand plants behind, right arm comes forward for that twist. Good. That right leg can either be straight or bent. Looking over that left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen that spine up. And on that exhale, deepen that twist to the left. And on the inhale, take it back to the center. Helicopter those arms over to the right and just reverse that twist. Taking it back to center. Legs come out straight. So you'll wanna walk your hips more to the center of the mat so that when you lay down, you are all the way on the back. So we're coming all the way down. So walking those hips forward if you need to, slowly laying it back down. So you'll definitely want the strap or towel here if you don't have a lot of flexibility. So that right leg is going to come up to the sky. So it's gonna be straight up. If you can, you'll reach for those toes or using that strap. So you'll grab either the ankle or the toes if you have the flexibility, but we're trying to keep that leg straight. So this is where a strap is really nice if you need it or your towel. The left hip stays planted on the mat. So keeping those hips even. So this is sleeping big toe pose. So release the stretch on that leg a little bit. So not dropping it down, but just kind of bending the knee and relaxing it. And then straighten it again, a little deeper into that stretch. Now that leg is going to go out to the right. So we're gonna keep the leg straight, extending it out to the right. Again, trying to keep those left that left hip planted on the ground. Sleeping big toe pose B. I right, bring that foot up to the center again, and then we're going for the revolved version. So it's gonna come over to the left side. And here the hips might get a little uneven. Trying to keep that leg straight. Looking over the right shoulder. Good, head comes back to center, leg goes back up to the sky. And bend the knee. So bending the knee, taking both hands, bringing, hugging that knee into the chest here. Yep, both hands around the knee, hugging it into the chest. Lois, you can release the strap now too. All right, right hand on the right knee, take it over to the right side. So over to the right side for that wind removing pose. 
Now the right knee will come over to the left for that supine twist. Gazing over the right arm. Keeping those shoulders square. The knee does not have to touch the ground. Focus on the breath. Inhale, look center and send that right leg down, sending that right leg back down to the mat. Shaking out those legs a little bit, preparing for that same thing, but on the left side. So left leg will come up now, again, using a towel or a strap to wrap around that foot if you need to. Keeping the right hip on the ground, pulling that left leg in. All right, release that leg a little bit, let it relax. And then find that pull again, find that stretch. Now taking that left leg over to the left side. Yep. Right hip stays on the mat. If you need to, you can take your right hand and push it on your right hip to just try to like remind it to stay flat. Try not to kick your neighbor. <laughs> She's used to it. She's got kids. <laughs> you have no uh, bubble anymore. <laughs> Good, taking that leg back up to the center and paybacks, other side, revolved, <laughs> right to the face. <laughs> Good, revolved sleeping big toe pose with the left leg over to the right. Gazing over that left shoulder. All right, taking that leg back over to center. Both hands hugging around that knee. So bending the knee, both hands hug around that knee. Left hand stays on the left knee, taking it over to the left side for the wind removing pose. Left knee goes over to the right side. Arms come out, gazing over that left shoulder this time. Arm can, arms can come out to a T or you can bend them like a cactus or goalpost. And returning that gaze back to center. Left leg comes back and extend those legs out straight in front of you. Knees are gonna bend, feet are gonna come up to the sky, grabbing the outside, so reaching through inside the knees, grabbing the outside of the feet for that happy baby. Yes, there we go. So grabbing the outside of the foot, the pinky's toe. The sole of the feet, think about pressing them through the ceiling, pulling those knees into your chest. You can rock a little bit side to side here, whatever kind of movement you want in this happy baby pose. Whatever feels good for your hips. Straightening and bending the legs side to side or just holding it. All right, releasing the legs, planting the soles of the feet on the ground, keeping those knees bent. Take the feet out about mat's width and just wiper those legs side to side. Moving on your own as fast or as slow as you'd like. Just a little bit of side to side movement here. And when you're ready, hold that on the left side. So wiper those legs over to the left and hold. If you'd like to add on here, the left foot can go on top of the right knee. If you'd like to deepen it a little bit.
Good, releasing that foot. And legs are gonna go over to the right side this time. So wiper over to the right side. Holding here, same thing. The right foot can go over the left if you'd like. If not, that is okay. Whatever feels best. Good, releasing that right foot, bringing those legs back in for happy baby one more time. All right, dropping those feet straight in front of you. We've got our final pose here of Shavasana. This is where we're gonna let everything go. So arms extend out, palms up, legs, nice and relaxed letting it all go we only have a minute and a half left so we're gonna make this quick <laughs> good if you're ready to finish up going to roll over to the right side oh, I guess we should have done the left that's all right planting that left hand on the ground sitting up facing forward Good, nice, easy, comfortable seat. We're gonna make this ending quick. Palms together, moment of gratitude. Tell yourself thank you for joining today for everything that you do and namaste.